Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks, and specifically, welcome back to my playing series, where I don't get to cherry-pick the games that I feature, so it could either be a disaster, or it could be very satisfying if it actually goes well. Today, I'm going to be playing the best Tier 7 light tank in the game. So, what's it going to be? So, if we look at raw win ratio, it's the AMX 1357. If we take a look at win ratio difference, it's actually the Type 62. You know what? It's so close that I, I think I'm going to play the exciting one. I'm going to play the 1357. So did you know there's actually two AMX 1357s in the game? One is called the AMX 37F, but interestingly, if we take a look in the garage, you'll see that it's actually called the AMX 1357GF, which is just shortened to F because I guess the name gets too long. Now, it's GF standing for Grand Finals, and that's because the ill-fated Wargaming League, which I think it used to say WargamingLeague.net on the tank. This was a vehicle that was released to kind of advertise uh, their esports game mode that isn't really in the game anymore. You can still get the 1357 regularly, but I'm not sure if they've ever sold the 1357F or GF in a long time. Accordingly, I hope you don't mind, I'm going to play the 1357F. It's an identical tank, but I've just got better equipment on this one. So, oh, I, I want to have all of the advantage that I can against all of the little puppies we're going to play against. Oh. Well, I guess I'm the little puppy in this scenario, right? Okay, so 1357. Uh, what kind of a build do I want to take on this map? Do I want to take my, like, full-on damagey build? Or shall I try and take out a little bit more of a scouting build? I think this map's more of a damaging build, so we're going to go for a damaging build. Um, also, one of the horrible things about this tank is it can only carry a very small amount of ammo. And so I've got two ammo loadouts. One for when we're in good matchups and one for when we're in bad matchups. So I'm going to take more gold rounds here to hopefully give myself a little bit of an advantage within that regard. Okay, so 1357 starting areas. Where, where am I going to go in this tank? I think i got to go up and knock this tree down and then try and spot out there. So what's crazy about this tank is how fast it unloads. It has a one second intraclip reload and it's a good thing too because it only has 90 alpha damage. The alpha damage on this tank is absolutely horrendous. It really doesn't uh, manage to do very much with a single shot. But when you're hitting so often, does it matter if you are firing uh, for low alpha damage? So that's what the plan is. The plan is that we're hopefully going to be able to just blaze through our opponents. And that's why you see that I've taken a build where I've double stacked gun handling. I've got vert stabs and then I've got a bounty rotation device and then i've got the stabilizer greasing there so that's going to be able to give us like phew, near 40 percent uh, reduced dispersion when we fire and remember that one of the most important statistics in world of tanks for autoloaders is the bloom after firing you can't see the value unless you go on websites like tanks gg the bloom after firing on this tank is a pretty bad 3.5 um not horrendous but pretty bad so that 3.5 is going to be cut down massively so a tank like this it's not really about the aim time it's more about how we can stop the gun from blooming after firing that is the plan so i'm just gonna chill here for a second i feel like the enemies might have to start to try and poke might have to start to take a look around oh my lord did my artillery just get shut down by a play called legolas player called legolas oh lord what am i doing am i playing world of warcraft right now back in like 2005 how many elf hunters were there playing WoW in 2005 with different name variations of Legolas. Legolas with random... I waited so long for that one shot. Luckily, I didn't get spotted. I, I swear that it was just it was so quintessential. I feel like it's all... It became so popular that it was probably kind of great if people actually called themselves Legolas because they just wouldn't really stand out so they could probably get away with things, you know? It's like players who, who in World of Warcraft Arena, for example, they ended up all taking like the same names. I, I even see people do that in World of Tanks. People take the same names in World of Tanks in platoons. Does that mean that it's harder for uh, the enemy team to be able to like target them? I gotta go for this guy. Hopefully the SU won't shoot me. Oh, look at that gun handling. And those are regular rounds there, even against the SU. Beautiful stuff. And that's what's crazy about this tank. All right, let's get back up here and see if we can go after the SU. The enemy team is doing 
very well. A little too well for my liking. The SU is safe. I guess I'm going to have to go after this SP-1C. Is he going to have anyone at the back? Just an SU. So I think we've got to hunt this SP-1C wherever he is. Do you think he ran away? I guess not. I guess we've got to go in after this guy. Whoop, here we go. Oh, there's another 1357. No, it's 1357 versus... I'm going to go for a full reload. 1357. Oh, I don't have enough ammo. I'm going to have to spam gold. Oh, no. Oh, whoopsie daisy. I'm going to have to spam gold in World of Tanks. Oh, I just didn't really realize that I was going to get to shoot all of, like, the, uh, the baby tanks here. I don't think I'm spotted. Bro, I'm not going to be very healthy in this game for very long. I need to run away. Oh, this is just a disastrous game. It really is. Um, I guess if I just, like, drop out over here and then I play, like, a sneaky French sniper, but I don't think it's going to go very well. Man, this vehicle, it's not even... It's not that fast, is it? Why is my top speed limit only 60? I think I've not got the field mods, or even if I've gone the other way with the field mods. I think I've lowered my top speed limit to be able to increase my engine power. And that kind of makes sense a little bit, but I don't think it actually does. Uh, for the majority of situations. So I think that's a little bit of a misplay by me. Um, and I think I'll adjust the field mod for my next game. The, this thing, it doesn't have the best of engine powers. And its ground, res its ground resistances aren't bad. But it doesn't have the best of engine power. So I always thought to myself, like, it's better to kind of, like, accelerate. And how often are you actually going at 60? But I do think that I'm actually going at 60 enough. Okay, I'm kind of feeling like I'm just not getting involved in this battle enough, but it's like two light tanks that I'm going to have to fight, and I don't really want to have to fight them. I'm hoping they're going to come after my arty, but the enemy light tanks don't seem to want to commit, and if they don't commit, then there's no opportunities to punish mistakes, and I can't really force my hand against a 1357 and an SP-1C. I'm going to reverse this way. Um, the reason I'm going to reverse is so I can run away quicker, right? Um, come on, Mr. SP-1C, where are you up on the ridge line? Come get some. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's time. Oh, we knackered his engine. Is he going to shoot me on the move? He is. Kind of annoyed that I actually shot his engine out there and I stopped him. Like, if I hadn't knocked his engine out, he wouldn't have hit me. This is awkward for him now. This is awkward for you. What are you going to do? Run away from me? You better hope your SP-1C saves you. Well, he actually reloaded in time. Look at that gun handling. Crazy, right? Can I make a comeback in this game? It might be one of those games where I actually... Uh, I actually run out of ammo. Mm. Mr. Borask, what are you up to? That gun handling is legendary with the vert stabs rotation device and the stabilizer greasing. Absolutely legendary. Okay, you know what? Maybe in some weird world this is actually winnable. I just really don't have very much ammo and it's not very good to shoot this thing like this at long range, but I feel like I've got to go for it. I've got to try and make every shot count right now as he blind fires. Hmm. Maybe if this Lanson is happy, there's a tiny chance we can win this. Oh, we got three minutes though. We got three minutes. There's a lover. There's an IS-3. I'm not sure I can be able to get this guy, though. In the side of the turret, I might be able to. Uh-oh, I got spotted, I think. Oh, no. Got to get over these tank traps quickly. Try and use this tree to avoid the KV-3 here. Shall I just go in after him? Which way is he facing? I think he's facing away from me. Unless my eyes are awful. Don't need to reload. Wow, the IS-3A is under a lot of pressure right now. Let's go across and try and help. I guess I'll help against the lever from the center. Oh, who put that there? Found someone. Guess we'll just go in against the lever. <laughs> oh man, two minutes left. What do we do? Do we cap or do we go after the arty? I think we go after them. I think 
I, if I like cap by myself, it's gonna be pretty ugly. I think we go after the SP1C and I try and protect. Found the RT. Artie's running. Hopefully the Lansen and the SP1C try to uh, cap out. Oh, this is going to get very ugly. Or oh, maybe I was greedy here. If he kills me in a single shot, I might lose the game. Or oh, he missed. Okay, we should be able to kill the Artie in a minute. Will... We get a top gun. I wonder if this artillery realizes that I can shoot him from this side. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. Hey, don't run. Give me my top gun. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is why we play live for YouTube. Let's go. Six kills and, um, yeah, 3,200 combined. That's up. I should just end the video here. What more is there to show about the 1357? Goodness gracious. What a game. What a game. We took our time. And we took it down. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Lovely. 1,600 base experience. Hit 40 out of 44 shells. Not even bad marksmanship. Spent 100,000 credits on ammunition there. So, um, yeah. That's not so good. So, uh, I've got me thinking now, like, do I want to have the extra four kilometers an hour for one power to weight ratio loss? That seems pretty ugly. I mean, this thing has such bad power to weight ratio that maybe I actually need that extra engine power to have the all-round performance. It's a real tough one. You know what? I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? But it's a, a really hard decision to, to try and figure out. This thing's, it's definitely its downside is the limited amount of ammunition and the uh, the power to weight ratio. So maybe I should keep the power to weight ratio that way. It doesn't really feel like it, uh, it's, it doesn't really feel like the power to weight ratio is that bad when we also take into account, um, wait a minute, now I'm confused. I'm looking here and for some reason the power to weight ratio, was I looking at a different tank there? I'm so confused. Why did it say like 16 power to weight? Either that I'm going crazy. I'm on I'm on tanks GG and it's saying it's very different. Oh, I see why. Look at this. It looks like hidden statistics. Even though it says it's got 250 horsepower, it actually doesn't. It actually has 380 horsepower according to tanks GG. Well, there you go. Uh, there you go. Hidden statistics, right? All right, I'm going to take uh, the exhaust here. And I'm going to try and be a sneaky boy. Uh, remember, this tank, it's not its not only about um, just trying to be a damage dealer. This tank can also be a proficient scout. Uh, when I'm playing on this map, I, I like this bush right here. Um, it's my preferred bush to be able to go into. I wish I had that top speed limit now to be able to access this bush. And now I know that the power to weight ratio is actually way better than Wargaming says it is inside the garage. I'm definitely taking the field mod the other way. All right. That's crazy, though. Absolutely crazy. This tank's quite similar to a Skoda T-17 when you think about it, right? But with an exhaust, good luck trying to find me in here, my friend. Um, I just got to hope that my team start to obliterate him or maybe my medium tanks do. He's still there. He's just no longer spotted. Maybe if he fires or if he moves. The problem with tier 7 light tanks is you can't use vision systems on them. So it doesn't matter if your uh, opponents are in bushes or moving. It's very hard to see them. Whereas when you've got a vision system, if they move, it lowers their camo rating. Not, not like all the way, but like a significant amount of camo they will lose for being a, a moving target. So when you're playing against tier 8 lights and above and they could have access to vision system, you should kind of actually sit still in the bush even if you're a light tank um, because they can kind of reduce your camera rating that way. However, if you've got multiple lines of bushes, it doesn't really make too much of a, a difference. So SU-152 spotted up there. I can't really push the Skoda T-17 uh, because the TDs could hit me. Or alternatively, yeah, the TDs could basically just whack me. 
And also, a Skoda T-17 is a scary tank to be able to try and shut down, right? Absolutely terrifying tank to be able to shut down. I feel like if I go to this building, then I might be able to just get rid of him. Um, I think I'm going to push him now, actually. I'm going to push him now. I think he's still sitting in here. He's not. He's actually moved. Otherwise, he would have definitely have seen me there. Um, unless he's behind the building in an awkward fashion. Okay, so this is where this tank is kind of a little bit brutal. Sure, I've made myself like a really good scout. But now my damage dealing capabilities are, are absolutely horrible. He says that, but I nearly hit the shot on the move. I've got a bunch of tanks spotted now. Cheat to SPs. I hate cheat to SPs. Anyone else out there watching YouTube today hate cheat to SPs? Talking about hate. I think I am about to go back to the garage very quickly if that charioteer manages to get me. A little bit of evasion. That was really stupid, actually, to just sit there and tank that from the charioteer, just to purely try and get the extra shots in against the SU. Looks like they've got people sitting back there. Um, well, this is very scary, actually. Um, Alright, hopefully we can apply some pressure. Nomad's at the distance and he was shooting me. God, look at this thing's gun handling when you don't have, um... When you don't have the vert stabs. Awful, 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 awful. Huge contrast just because of the kind of equipment. But um, again, I felt like this map was going to be one where spotting was going to be more important. And I don't think it was the case. I hate G2SPs. How many times have I said that in this YouTube video? Quite a few. I hate G2SPs. Good. Die, 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 my darling. G2SP, Wargaming has to do something about that, man. The G2SP is just absolutely... It's very toxic. I've lost so many games to G2SPs. And the thing is, is that... When a tank is OP, very good... Well, good players gravitate towards playing it to try and make themselves better than they otherwise would be, right? It's understandable, right? You want to play the best tanks to be able to have the best impact, to get the best win ratio, the best stats, and all of this. It's just... It becomes this meta, right? And then suddenly a meta can become very toxic. Alrighty then, I'm going to switch to gold rounds, I guess, for these guys at long range. I don't need gold rounds for the Progetto, though. I do need them for the IS-3, though. This could get very ugly very quickly, this game. Hoping that I can try and get some shots out of maybe the Progetto as it comes in. Dude, I just don't quite have enough gun depression to be able to get these heavy tanks. Is it literally just me and a Govika now? Oh man, this is not making me a happy chappy. I think I might go in for the Nomad assassination and then hope these heavy tanks get greedy and drive across the valley. And maybe they'll get shot by the Udes. I think this is the play. I just end him myself. I think I've got more chance of getting close to him because then I won't miss my shots and I might be able to outdo his traverse speed. Hopefully the Progetto didn't see me. Oh no! Cheeto SP! Curse you, Cheeto SP. Curse you. Absolutely curse you. Oh, boys and girls, my beautiful French tank is all coming tumbling down. I think I might just go after the Chariot Nomad and hope he sucks. Oh, double tracks and the Skoda gets me. Well played to that Skoda T-17 for falling all the way back and defending their base. I think he did, uh, he made a really good play by just going there. And look, he managed to just hold back that advance with, with his team. So well played to the uh, Skoda T-17. A great play, good impact. Um, unfortunately, I just couldn't really find my place on the battlefield. I wish I'd been able to commit to a flank, and we just didn't. GG. So yeah, I just got out outdone by the Skoda T-17. Look at that. He did 2,700 combined deserves to win the battle, and they had a good T-77 who picked up a high caliber, so GG to him. Alas, poor 1357. Managed to uh, carry the first game, but definitely didn't carry that one. Okay, so a nice balanced matchup here. Or a tier 7 tank against 8s and 6s. I love this kind of spread. It's my, my favorite kind of world of tanks is when there's a large variety of vehicles. Because I just feel like the battle is varied. I like varied battles in world of tanks. Alright, again, I'm going to take the, the coated optics with the exhaust. Uh, to try and make use of this big bushy map to try and provide vision for my team. But again, as you saw in that last game, when I don't have that, when I don't have that firepower... 
it can be quite tricky to I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the extra gold rounds by the way this battle and the reason for that is do you see how many heavies they have they have six heavies and um, that can be quite hard to be able to to get through and some more heavily armored mediums as well on the enemy team so I think the gold might be necessary Okay, so there's multiple ways to play this map as a light tank. One is to be able to make your way up towards the top. Two is to be able to make your way towards the center. And the third is to be able to make your way across. I'm going to try and find this bat chat and miss all of my shells. I can't really end him in a single mag. I might be about to lose a lot of health here because I got spotted by that bat chat in the end with the final shot. I don't think he can see me anymore, though. Just try and spot my opponents as they come through here. This is a bit of a, a, a an obvious bush. But there we go. That's some easy spotting for me. Easy spotting. I don't know what this mill's doing. Oh, wow. Toasty! Manual fire extinguisher. Respect to you, my free-to-play lad. Um... Am I okay? Is this bat chat okay? I can finish him. Even without the vert stabs, we're making this work. I don't think that bat chat was uh, really thinking it through. Is this LTG really going to just ram me out now? He is, isn't he? You really are a brat is Slav. Goodness gracious, Bratislav living up to their name right there. Luckily, we managed to get away from harm's way. Just push him out a little bit. Not teabagging his wreck, you know, that's not what we're doing right now. I'm just trying to make it so that I can access that bush. Wow, really shows you how light this vehicle is. A little bit worried that that guy will get spotted. He's a heavy tank behind me, but I'm not saying he's doing anything wrong with playing that way. I just got to be careful with the uh, spotting right now. I'm trying to light those guys up at the back for my team. They're clearly in those bushes. Oh my word, I got spotted. Oh, look at this. Look at this fellow. Really? Really, really? Really, really, really. Can one of these guys not shoot him? I'm pretty sure he can get nailed if the Black Prince just comes forwards. Dude, this guy could kill me in two shots if he fires HE. Hello. Maybe I should have waited the extra second. I just really didn't want to lose the 180 damage to him. Maybe that's a misplay though. Maybe I should have just had the extra second. Too disciplined, Uncle Scrubby Baby. Too disciplined. Uh-oh. That Emil is terrifying, let me tell you. Help me. Help me, EOC. Save me. You're my only hope. Wow, that BZ just bounced a couple of players. I don't think I'm spotted anymore. The ELC makes the kill. Oh, how did I get spotted there? Have they got any light tanks left? They don't. All of their lights are doomed. Doomed, I say. Doomed. What's this a mill doing? I feel like I have to help this guy out. Or I'm, he, he, he gonna die. You think they're in that bush, maybe? Nope. Cool. This is expensive. These are all gold ones. I will reload before the Emil will. I will reload before the Emil will. I'm going in. That was a bizarre bounce. I don't know how I ricocheted that shot, but uh, GG. That AMX looks delicious as well. Everyone looks delicious when I'm playing this tank. Super Hellcat, what are you doing?
He's behind a hard building. I can't get him. There's a G Giro somewhere. Oh, I don't like this tank without the vert stabs. I don't like it. I'd have hit all of these shells with the vert stabs. It's an expensive tank to play without them. But, you know, on this map, maybe... Maybe still worth to have that extra camo. That extra vision. Super Hellcat versus a Hellcat. Who's going to win? Probably the player who has the uh, the sneaky Amex on their side. Oh, come on, Super Hellcat. Just end it. There we go. This is costing me so many credits right now. Maybe I should have taken the, uh, the economy build. I just thought that I'd have to deal with those heavies, you know? I thought I'd have to deal with the heavies on the enemy team, but I didn't have to. Good stuff. Easy game, easy life, right? Okay, so let's make our way and try and find some pigs. It's like 20,000 credits I just spent to kill that artillery. Oh well, a kill's a kill, right boys and girls? A kill's a kill. Uh oh. <laughs> that definitely was an uh oh moment. Oh, goodness gracious. But still, 3,700 combined and four kills. It's a fabulous game, showing you why this thing is a banger. This vehicle, honestly, it's pretty filthy. Um, it's I'd say it's probably one of the most fun tanks in the game. Uh, the problem with the vehicle is, is if you want to play it properly, it does require a good set of equipment. And more importantly, it does require copious amounts of gold rounds. Bro, 1,460 is not an ace tanker. Can you believe we don't get an ace tanker in that battle for 1,460 and that 3,900 combined? Great game. All right, I think I've got enough time for one more battle today. So let's see if it's going to be Uncle Scrubby Baby's lucky day in the 1357, because so far it seems like it is. Okay, Paris, but oh, I'm a top tier tank. Okay, this is tricky because on Paris, if you can't win like the vision, it's awful. But uh, I really want to just go for the damagey build to have some fun. <sighs> Look, if I wanted to play this properly, what I should do is take the vision build though. I think the coated optics and the, uh, the exhaust will be what win me the battle. But like, oh man, the rotation device would be so fun for just blooming. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have to play this properly. We're gonna take the coated optics. Gonna take the exhaust. It's gonna suck to not have the awesome uh, rate of fire. Well, I'll have the same rate of fire, but it's gonna be it's gonna suck to not have the uh, the bloom, which basically means that we have to just hold our shells for a little bit unless we're in proper close quarters combat. Again, I should switch out the field mod. I haven't done it. This is like the fourth battle I've been playing with the wrong field mod. But, uh, you know, sometimes in World of Tanks, the first thing you want to do when you're in the garage is get into another game of World of Tanks, right? That's what's beautiful about it. Beautiful about this game. I like to knock this tree down to give myself an early bit of vision. Artillery is obviously wanting to shoot at things that get knocked down, which is understandable. I'm trying to think. Do I just chill here or do I try and make a push play and go into that bush and actually be forwards? forwards in my life. You know what? I should probably chill. I should probably just chill for a little bit. Just chill. Just chill, Uncle Scrubby Baby. Use that great view range. Use that awesome view range. Try and spot out. Punish some mistakes. See how my heavies play. Just because you can push doesn't mean you should push, right? Oh, mm, they've sent their chi -ri on the other flank. There he is. Our first customer. The problem is, is, if I fire now and I get spotted, it could be like all of my health, right? It's like that's the problem with this tank, is that you can't just fire one. It's a bit like a Tessac within that regard, you know? A bit like a Tessac, where you kind of have to fire multiple shells. But it just doesn't feel like you're actually achieving. Oh, it's so sad to miss so many shells that I would hit if I was using the. Uh, the vert stabs, but that wasn't that bad. He wants to grow up to be a Tessac. Uh, by the way, uh, Tessac, uh, I haven't really talked about it since my tank review. So, what do I think? Um, it's very mediocre, boys and girls. It's probably 
the worst light along with the Sheridan all in all. Uh, because it just doesn't really have that good scouting capacity. Nice. Um, and its damage dealing is okay, but only in very obscure situations. The, the norm for it... The norm for it, says Uncle Scrubby Baby. The norm for it is to just not be able to burst out, should we say, instant damage. And instant damage is so important in World of Tanks. You must have instant damage in World of Tanks. Good example is, let's say you're playing a Tessac and a medium comes around the corner against you. Dude, I might run out of ammo this game. Um, if, a Tessac, if a medium tank just comes around the corner against you... Oh no, you can be in an absolute world of hurt. Talk about world of hurt. This could be bad. This could be really bad. Is he going to hit all three shells? No, he doesn't. That's good news. I'm not sure I can afford to just... What am I doing? Why did I just sit there? I need to think more about my game right now rather than think about playing... Uh, think about the Tessac and communicating the Tessac. That was really silly of me. Fe three or four could kill me in a single shot. Talk about single shot. This artillery is... My commander is dead, is what I'm trying to say. So me and the Stug have got practically the same view range now. It's kind of cute. But it's also stopping me from having a huge battle here. Damn, that was really poor. Um, oh, talk about poor. Am I actually spotting the Stug right now? It's hard to say. Should I go after him or is the arty going to get me? I guess what I should do is fall back behind the bushes. I should be able to get him if I just use these bushes, right? Okay. Man, I'm going in against an arty right now, and I have zero view range, at least for the next 20 seconds, and it's an FE304. There could be an M10 somewhere as well. Oh, there's an AMX! Are you actually kidding me? Little gobelino. No! And the M10's in the corner! Oh, I get killed by Firefox marksman. Rip me from the corner of the map because of my dead commander. Goodness gracious. Unfortunate. I would have never have thought that ELC was still there. Alas, poor baby. We die early in this game with only uh, about 2,300. Uh, what? No, exactly 2,250 combined and a couple of kills. So, all in all, the 1357. It's a filthy good tank. I would recommend uh, any people who have the money, or maybe you can get it from some kind of an event, do try and pick this one up. It's really fun. It's really good. The only problem with the tank is don't buy this and expect it to be cheap unless you want to have sub-par results. My tips for being able to mitigate the credit loss that you're going to make in this vehicle, unless you just want to go full gold, is take two builds. One with more regular rounds for when you're in matchups like this, and one with more gold rounds for when you're in those stinky matchups. It will help you to be able to play more economically. Uh, but just make sure you remember to switch at the start of the battle. Next thing with this vehicle is to try and get vert stabs and rotation device on one of your builds. I'd recommend the vents over like an experimental turbo, but you know what? Maybe you might want to try the experimental turbo as well if you can get it to a good level to reduce that even further. You, you could get up to like minus 50% bloom if you really wanted, but without the vents, yeah, your aim time and your accuracy and especially your view range would be would be pretty brutal compared to uh, boosting up your crew a little bit with uh, Quacky Baby's favorite, the vents, right? Anyway, ladies and gents, boys and girls, that was it for today. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Savage 2600 combined is 75% wins and over three kills uh, a battle here live for the YouTube. Uh, mistake in that last game. I should have been able to mop up and have a much bigger result. Anyway, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the 1357. And if you're watching this video as it goes live on Wednesday at 3 o'clock UTC, there are going to be brand new drop tokens. So come along, get yourself some more tokens so you can get closer towards getting one of those epic Halloween 3D stars for a variety of tier 9 tanks. So really looking forward to seeing you all live right now. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.